Hey everybody, I just came back from a walk and I wanted to do a quick video of my scent of the day, which is Gris Charnel by BDK. So I did a first impression video of this fragrance actually, and I believe I was mistaken because I said that this smelled like chai tea, when in fact it's black tea and fig. So still smells fantastic, still a light, airy, lovely scent. And another thing I mentioned in my first impression video was that the opening smelt slightly feminine, even though this is marketed as a unisex fragrance. But now, after giving it around two to three full wears, I can confidently say that this is a completely unisex fragrance. Okay, and here's why. Because when this dried down on me, even right now I smell it, there is a small hint, a touch of Le Nuit de Lhomme that I am getting while wearing this fragrance. And I was kind of like, wait, why, why does it smell like that? And I looked at the notes and there's cardamom in this fragrance and cardamom is a very prominent note in Le Nuit de Lhomme, which makes it smell really sexy. To me, it's like a fresh, spicy kind of smell, right? Which is why I think I really enjoy this scent because this by no means is a sexy, sexy fragrance, but it is slightly seductive. And also, yeah, I think that this is one that can be worn more year round. I think a lot of people use Le Nuit de Lhomme more as a date night scent or an intimate scent, but I feel like you can use this regardless of the situation. Now, as far as wear time goes, I did this, I, I did this, I did find this to be a little bit weak in performance. I was getting around six hours max with this fragrance. I mean, if I put my nose to my clothes, then yeah, I could still pick up the smell there but it definitely wasn't pushing out at all. And I had to put my nose to my clothes, to my skin. But I will say within the first couple hours when I first sprayed it, it was, it was kind of like a moderate projection, but I really liked having it in my scent bubble, okay? So just to be safe, I would say that this fragrance is like a four to six, five to six hour scent. So don't expect something that's gonna push off. But when I really think about it, I'm like, okay, wait, this is a fresh, tea-like fragrance. So of course it's light, it's airy, it's not going to be something that's meant to be around you for the whole entire day, but I think if you're going to a brunch, a lunch, you're going on a coffee date, getting tea with somebody, going on a walk like I did, this is going to be a great fragrance. This is a nice compliment getter. I did receive a compliment on this fragrance um, and it's just a decent scent. Really, I don't think that there's a way that you can hate this fragrance. It's not bold, it's not daring, but it's very mass appealing, okay? So if you're looking for a niche, dumb reach fragrance that smells like black tea, give this one a shot. I'm gonna leave a link in the description in case you're interested in it. But yeah, this thing has been growing on me the more and more and more I've been wearing it. So I'm probably gonna spray more of it after this video. Actually, I'll do it right now because I have to pick up some groceries, but I only want it on clothes, you know what I'm saying? Just for the time being. But look at the spray. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a... You can hear all that. Oh, it smells so nice. Favorite part of it is the dry down. Anyways, I would rate this fragrance <clears throat> like a solid 7 out of 10. 7.5 out of 10 because I really do enjoy the dry down. Anyways, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.